Hello people, and uh, welcome to my little video about um, my little SID chip switching adventure, so to say. This is a Commodore 64C motherboard from, you know, this one, the flat one. Um, it originally had this sound chip in it. Uh, there we go, the 8580. I grew up with the sound of the this one 6581 so in order to remedy that I bought there are probably more than one solution but I bought this dual set device this little board here which enables you it is originally intended for producing stereo set sound so you have two outputs but uh, that's not what I'm gonna use it for I'm gonna use it for well my original idea was to just have the sound of the 6581 and it's been working okay I simply omitted the original sound chip you see the empty socket there and uh, took the audio out here and plugged it I mean soldered it to these points that's ground and uh, where the red one is soldered that is connected to the audio out on the this port and it's been working great but um, to my surprise there's actually a few titles uh, that sounds wrong in my head with the 6581 chip so I actually need both chips so I'm gonna try and uh, set up some kind of switching thing so I can, you know, like this switch. I'm gonna mount somewhere. Well, later. I'm gonna mount it later. I'm just gonna do a test run. I'm gonna see if I can switch between the two chips on the fly. I hope it's nothing that will damage anything. Um, I don't know too much about this technical stuff, only a little bit. But, uh, well. How harmful can it be, right? It's just an audio signal and some ground, but uh, time will tell. I hope it will be okay. Um, in order to do this, I have to have both chips plugged in here, but the original chip, um, that is a pass-through. It just goes down there and is output through here. That's how it was intended to be. But I'm simply gonna cut off that signal. See, I bent the audio out pin so there shouldn't be any audio on that point where the red wire is soldered so I'm gonna take the audio out from this board I'm gonna solder a, a wire on there on the second point which is audio out and I'm gonna connect it all up to this switch and I'll see if it works the idea is simple, but uh, it might not work, but it's it should work, in my head at least. So uh, time will tell. I'm going to cut now and uh, solder some stuff on. Alright, see you in a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> now I have done some soldering. Let me explain a bit. Uh, ground. Ground. That chip's ground. That is the sound output from that chip. And the black one is ground and I have soldered that on down there. There. And, well, the ground for the 8580 gets ground through the socket, so I'm, I don't think it's necessary to ground it. Otherwise I could have grounded it with the first leg right there. Where's my finger? There. The first leg there is ground. I could have sorted that up there as well, but okay. And uh, the switch. Um, the middle, which connects either side, is soldered on to the audio out, of course, right here. And the green wire goes to 
all the way out on the 8580 and the red wire at the end goes to the 6581 so if you flip it like if it's on there flip that way then the lower two points you see right there are connected so that's the two red ones so that is the 6581 so then the 8580 is on here zero um, it's not supposed to be connected like this hang out like this that's just temporary I glued it on just to hold it in place I eventually plan to hook it up right here on the side or I could do it here right here on the back I haven't quite decided yet so I'm not that good with with tools to cut in plastic but <laughs> we'll see how it goes when that time comes so all there is to do now is test it and uh, well I guess I need the keyboard for that otherwise I can't juice anything so let's just connect that up here and on there there we go okay, and we have a okay. And turn it on. Well, we have a picture. That is a very good sign. Let's just, for now, test if there is sound at all. We can do that quickly with, well, with this one. Okay, looks like there's sound, great. Flip. Sound there as well. Well, that tune sounds exactly the same with the two chips, so you can't test it with that. So, let's try something else. I think I will go for. Well, I know, I planned it actually. The first Last Ninja game. See if I can get some light on some there. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, yeah, why not? In this case it's level four. And it's gonna ask for disc two right away. Yeah. So, file, second disk, mount it, get out of there. Okay, for those of you who know your last ninja games, you probably remember the level, the dungeons from the first last ninja game. That music there, in that level, loaded up has a very characteristic sound like do 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 those thumping sounds that is very easy to see if this works because on the 8580 chip those thumping sounds are simply not there it's just missing plus some background sound is not on the 8580 either that is there on the 6581 chip so it's very easy to test it on this title it just takes a while to load of course all right here we go hear that that's the 8580 
it's very flat so listen up switching to 6581 that is that chip right there switch it back flat sounds wrong 8580 and the background was supposed to be here but it's not listen for it now now it's there so I guess it was all a success that's the way it should be well at least in this game now I can switch back and forth at will I love it well let's turn it down a little bit well thank you for watching if you liked it give me a thumbs up alright have a fantastic day